Hi everyone and welcome to Ask My Tablet and I also have some birthday friend mail. This is uh from this is from uh at home with Jen. Y'all have probably seen her, her comments before and stuff. And uh she does a lot of different things. She does hauls and uh reviews, she does some cooking. Um she is uh has like a uh stockpile too emergency stockpile and stuff like that that she shows what's going on with that uh, so y'all check her out at home with jen and here's the card she sent and it's thoughts and prayers on your birthday it says and uh it says thinking of you on your birthday and asking god to bless you abundantly love you dearly watch over you always it says, Michael, may the Lord always bless you. Thanks for being an awesome friend from Jen and Izzy. Okay. And she, and she sent a Dollar General gift card. She knows I love Dollar General, and she has one too. And uh, she goes to her Dollar General. Not, not as much as we do, probably. You know, we don't go there as much as some of the places that we go, like Dollar Tree. But listen here, isn't that pretty... Uh, it's a bag. It's nice. I put that card up on the... I had several additions to my cards with Halloween and uh, birthday. Filled it back up. The fridge. I got... I had to take all the others off from it, like, you know, Valentine's Day and Easter and stuff. It's been a while. Oh. Oh, everybody knows I like the truck. Look at that. Man, I could put some soup in there. Well, I, I drank that much coffee in the morning. <laughs> you know? But that would hold soup, too, and stuff. I'm like, you know, wow, that'll be great this winter. I have my awesome truck. This has got like a plaid design on the truck. That's cool. All right, that's fantastic. And then she sent a few things uh, for uh, we can do on the uh, reviews here. It's some Mexican items. She lives in California. This is Toadies, Donitas, Lyman, uh, and Salt, I guess. And this one, it looks like, uh, it feels like Raymond-like stuff. It says uh, just mama, mama. Looks kind of like a tomato type, spaghetti type Raymond, I guess. I don't know, it's interesting, that'd be a good one. And then the, this uh, coconut banderitas, coconut candy bar. There. And then there's three of these. They're De La Rosa Mazapan Original. Like a little. That's cool. And then three of these. I guess that's like one for each of us. Of uh, this uh, Poparindo Pulper, with real fruit soft in there wow that'll be some good ones for we'll do those uh, we'll add some some to this uh this week uh, this coming week uh for uh, the reviews we'll add some things to this but we'll do these on our next uh review definitely thanks so much i just love i love the mug too and everything really and Dollar General card that was very nice too. So I just want to put all this right here. Yeah, so we can do Ask My Tablet. And by the way, we just put our order into Olive Garden, but it take, obviously it takes them 45 minutes. Maybe they're busy. Or, I don't know. So it takes 45 minutes. Okay. Let's see. These are from Kim, these first ones. 
Alexa, uh oh, how old do you have to be to run for president? You have to be at least 35 years old to be eligible to become the president of the United States. 35. 35. That's got the presidential seal or whatever. Okay, and Alexa, what are the benefits of drinking a protein drink? Here's something I found on the web. According to cancer.gov, they provide energy, protein, fat, carbohydrates, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Well, obviously the one like Insure or uh, what's that other one? Boost. I've, I've had drank both of them. Uh, they're, they're obviously pretty good for you too. Uh, Alexa, how many dimples are in a golf ball? Most golf balls have between 300 and 500 dimples. <laughs> wow. I would have never thought there was that many. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, does it? Alexa, how many days did the Titanic sink? The RMS Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on April 15, 1912, killing know. between 1490 and 1635 people on board after it hit an iceberg. This caused five of its 16 oh, compartments to flood with seawater and sink rapidly. Alexa, how many days did the Titanic sail before it sank? The RMS Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Same Ocean thing. on April 15, 1912, killing between 1490 okay, and 1635 people on board after it hit an iceberg. That's not, this caused five of its 16 compartments to flood with seawater and sink rapidly. Okay. Uh, Alexa, who wrote the Happy Birthday song? Here's what I found on reference.com. The writer of the song Happy Birthday to You is unknown. While some attribute the song to sisters Patty and Mildred Hill, the origin of the song is widely disputed. Wow. Ooh. Okay, these are from Joe. Alexa, what is a nautical mile? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat your calculation? Alexa, what is a nautical mile? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat your calculation? Let's go back. Let's try that. Alexa, what is a nautical mile? Sorry, she I didn't won't. catch that. She can't Could you repeat your calculation? Why is 12 inches called a foot? Here's something I found on World Atlas. The July 1959 International Pound and Yard Agreement defined the international foot to be equivalent to 12 inches, which were 1.7 parts per million, parts per million, shorter than the original United Kingdom definition and two parts per million shorter than that of the United States. In the United States, a foot was estimated to be 12 inches with an inch defined by the 1893 Mendenhall Order, which stated that one meter is equal to 39.37 inches. Did that, that answer your question? Not really. Thanks for your feedback. <laughs> You're welcome. She, she said a lot, and it was interesting, kind of, and then she never did get around to why. How about if maybe she'll know this. Alexa... Why is three feet called a yard? Yes, three feet is equivalent to one yard. <laughs> Evasive again. <laughs> where did the land... Okay, Alexa, where did the land measurement of an acre come from? Here's something I found on the web. According to Bartleby.com, in the English system, land is often measured in acres. One <laughs> acre equals 160 rod to. Well, there you go, Joe. 
she uh, she evaded your questions. <laughs> these these are from Vicky G. Uh, Alexa, what was inventor Garrett Morgan's invention? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> how about how about this one? Uh, Alexa. What crime was John DeLorean in court for? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> she won't say nothing tonight. Uh, this is funny. <laughs> How about Alexa? What year was the gas mask invented? Banu M. USA and Nikolai Zelensky contributed to the invention of the gas mask. Whoa, she got one. That's the longest string that she's not answered, I think. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, how about, she wonder if she'd know this. Alexa, who was the first Chief Justice of the U.S.? The Chief Justice's inaugural holder was John Jay. Doesn't look like he would be the first one. Looks like he would be an older one than that, older picture like. <laughs> At least she gave us an answer. How about Alexa? What was the Andes Mountain air crash? The Andes or Andean Mountains are the longest continental mountain range in the world. The Andes extend from north to south through seven South American countries wow. Venezuela. Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, and mm -hmm. Chile. That doesn't even answer it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have any vice presidents? Alexa, have any vice presidents run for president while still in office? I'm it's... not quite sure how to help you with that. <laughs> That's from... Debbie, and uh, this one is too. Alexa, how many vice presidents have become president? There are 14 succeeded to presidency U.S. vice presidents. They are George H.W. Bush, Gerald Ford, Lyndon B. Johnson, Richard Nixon, Harry S. Truman, Calvin Coolidge, Theodore Roosevelt, Chester A. Arthur, Andrew Johnson, Millard Fillmore, John Tyler, Martin Van Buren, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams. Wow, more than I thought. How about uh, one from Kim here? Alexa, is chocolate bad for dogs? Chocolate is highly toxic for dogs and can be fatal. Consult a veterinarian if you believe your pet was exposed to chocolate. Oh, Lord, well, that wouldn't be good at all. Okay, <clears throat> Alexa, where is the largest underground lake? Here's something I found from the article London Underground on Wikipedia. The London Underground is frequently studied by academics because it is one of the largest, oldest, and most widely used systems of public transit in the world. How about if I just say what? Alexa. What is the largest underground lake? I know about two underground lakes with the largest surface areas. They are San Leonar Underground Lake and Mokwa Well at zero square inches. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's from Joe, and these are two. Alexa, how deep is the deepest hole? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Russia's Kola Super Deep Borehole, SG3, is the deepest hole in the world at 12,262 meters, 40,230 feet, 7.619 miles, in 1989 and is the deepest artificial point on Earth as of January 2019. The borehole is 23 centimeters, 9 in, in diameter. Wow. I think I saw uh, that in a video. Uh, it's crazy, uh, you know what that what they're doing there. 
And uh, Alexa, how tall is the tallest tree? The tallest tree's height is 379 feet. 300, wow, that's pretty tall. And then, uh, what is that? The, Alexa, what is at the center of the Milky Way galaxy? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, there is a black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Ooh. Well, is it filled with nougat? <laughs> I had to do that. Okay. Alexa, how many stars are there in the Milky Way galaxy? According to NASA, scientists estimate the Milky Way galaxy has anywhere between 100 billion to 400 billion stars. Wow. Some of those stars have planets orbiting them, much like the sun. Wow, wow. These two are from Karen here. Alexa, when did Hallmark Cards start making cards? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, founded in 1910 by Joyce Hall, Hallmark is the oldest and largest manufacturer of greeting cards in the wow. United States. Over 100 years, 110. Wow. And Alexa, what is your IQ? I've never taken an IQ test. However, I like to think I'm intelligent, even if it is artificial. Yes, that's true. Okay, let's get a few jokes and I'm gonna have to go. Uh, Alexa, tell me a joke. I think asparagus might be an untapped power source. Cause after you eat it, it seems to produce a lot of enriched uranium. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the donkey cross the road? Because the children were trying to pin a tail on it. <laughs> That's a good reason. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's Ask My Tablet and Birthday Friend Mail. I hope you enjoyed it. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that... So you get all my videos as soon as they come out and share with everyone. Share with everyone you know. And uh, if you want to see another one, I've already got a couple questions that Joe had uh, that are on the next one. So send me some questions in in the comments, as many as you like. And we'll do it again. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching so much. We'll see you in the morning at Morning Devotions. God bless everyone.